treat people the way that you want to be treated. Except for in Call of Duty, you can talk shit, that's cool. I needed to be the black ash ketchup. It was my destiny to be the, the negro ketchup. But let's talk about why, why all white people like spoiled milk when they take their clothes off. Modern warning. Step one, get money. Step two, repeat step one. What is up, geeks, dorks, nerds, and otaku cosplay bitches? NWN here, aka Young Negro Catch. I'm in a Jota Reach flexing. And recently I dropped a commentary talking about five things that I hated about the video games community. I didn't want to leave all that negative energy in the universe, so I decided to balance things out by listing five things that I do like. After all, I have been doing this game and stuff for two years now on YouTube, so of course there are some things that I like. This list that I compiled, it isn't in any particular order, so I'm just going to speak my mind. Number one is intelligence. I love the fact that a lot of people seem to be intelligent in this community. Mainly I want to focus on the modders. You have people who mod games on PC. People out here improving graphics, making new levels and characters. Just look at Skyrim. That game came out in 2011, and it's still going strong because the community of smart people. You can play as Iron Man, Batman, the Hulk, and a million other characters in Grand Theft Auto on PC. Counter-Strike, one of the greatest FPS's of all time, started off as a Half-Life mod. DayZ was originally an Arma 2 mod. Then you got modders exposing Ubisoft as liars by activating the 2012 Watch Dogs graphics back into the PC version. People out here flexing their intellect and it brings more enjoyment to our games. Number two is walkthroughs. I personally don't like doing full Let's Plays, but let's be honest, where would the community be without them? The fact that people love doing these single-handedly killed the video game guidebook market. I remember playing Ocarina of Time with that thick ass dookie brown guidebook as a kid that I got from EB Games. You had to search all through the table of contents to look for the page of that specific part that you got stuck on. Not in 2014, fuck that. All you gotta do is find the part of the let's play that correlates to where you're stuck at and then you figure it out and you keep it moving. Now for the most part, I prefer to figure things out for myself, but some games, man, you just need that extra help. Otherwise, you'd rage quit the game. Number three is friends. One of the benefits of being part of the games community here on YouTube is friends. We are a group of like-minded individuals which gives us an excuse to talk to one another so why not i've met a lot of cool people through this thing people i game with almost daily now and here's a tip too it's easier to grow your channel if you help others out form a click like we have the illuminati do videos together shout each other out do like funny moment videos and shit that way you're sharing subs you can't help everybody though but keeping a circle does help you just gotta weed through all the fanboys and the plastic defenders to find some people who enjoy all genres and platforms number four is tough all the real gamers got backbones. We don't tolerate bullshit. What other community do you know bands together when they find some shit that they don't like and tells them to get the fuck up out of here? I'm sorry, but I don't think any other community can do what we did to Microsoft E3 2013. Remember when they had all them bullshit policies? Everybody was making videos and forum threads shouting, I ain't buying that piece of shit, and we scared Microsoft straight. Now the connect isn't mandatory, no DRM, you can sell and share your games, no paywall for streaming apps, and Games for Gold seems to be improving. That was an epic moment in gaming history, and you should pat yourself on the back if you did your part to get Microsoft all the way the fuck up out of here. Don't forget that gamers also go out their way to let EA know that they ain't shit either. Our act of voting has placed them as the worst company in the world multiple times. Is it accurate and fair? No, because there's way worse crimes out there being done by other companies and shit. But the shit's still funny. <laughs> and number five is we made gaming cool. It's undeniable that our culture is taking over. Everyone wants to be a geek nowadays, and I love slash hate it. I mean, I love it because we're no longer looked at as basement dweller losers, but instead actual people with lives. I hate it because I feel like a lot of frauds are infiltrating the community just looking to make a quick buck. That being said, the more the merrier. I mean, look at Twitch. They're over there breaking numbers. They are one of the most popular streaming services on the net, beating out things like WWE. This was only possible because we kept doing us and not listening to people that was criticizing us. So that's my list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below some things that you love about the community. And when you're done, check out ModernWarnego.com. We post the latest gaming news, reviews, previews, anime, comics, and music. Hell, you can even submit your own article. It's your one-stop shop for all things geek. Thanks for watching you guys, but the city needs me.